did you know? There was going to be a Mad Max anime. While The Road Warrior has been inspiring Japanese artists like Fist of the North Star's Tetsu Ohara for decades, Mad Max director George Miller wanted to make an anime-style movie of his own. Planned as early as 2003, Mad Max Furiosa, which George Miller was writing himself, along with Mad Max cast veteran Nico Lathras, was supposed to be released alongside the fourth film in the Mad Max franchise. Mahiro Maeda, co-founder of Studio Gonzo, and director of anime such as Gankutsu the Count of Monte Cristo and Blue Submarine No. 6, was tasked with creating the designs for the anime, and in particular, designing Furiosa. According to JoeBlow.com, said designs by Maeda were even used as the inspiration for what would become Mad Max Fury Road. Miller said the spin-off anime would have been, quote, more Furiosa's story and how she came about. Ultimately, what doomed Mad Max Furiosa was the second delay and initial cancellation of Fury Road itself. Did you know? There was going to be a fourth Tenchi Muyo movie. In December of 2014, Hiroshi Nagishi, director of Tenchi Universe and Tenchi Muyo in Love 1 and 2, revealed via Twitter that a third in Love movie was not only talked about, but very much in the works for 2009. But according to Nagishi, the answer as to why it never materialized lies after the third OVA series, marketed as Tenchi Muyo Ryooki in the US. AIC president Toru Mira felt that Tenchi Muyo as a franchise was dead, and that the idea of doing a movie after the last series OVA budget was reckless. Nagishi said, Five years ago, Inoue began planning In Love 3. However, soon after that, President Miura proposed that the new Tenchi be 100 episodes at 90 seconds in length, but we ended up settling for the 5-minute framework instead. Anyway, the thought of reviving Tenchi Muyo with this new series seemed absurd, but I undertook it. Before getting shelved, the original plot of the fourth movie was that Washu had put the universe in peril once again with one of her experiments going horribly wrong, and the Galaxy Police would have to get directly involved. Though the movie never materialized, the script concepts were incorporated into the second half of the 2014 miniseries, I Tenchi Muyo. Even though a Marduk Scramble anime movie was produced in 2010, this was not the first Marduk Scramble to be made. An unfortunate casualty of Gonzo's erratic production process, the 2005 Marduk Scramble OVA was an ambitious project that boasted the use of new 3D digital technology for what was the studio's 15th anniversary. With talent from some of its most prestigious works, like character designer Renji Murata and director Yasufumi Sojima, the anime, according to former Gonzo employees, was one that was far different from Gonzo's usual fare. But despite it being Gonzo's 15th anniversary project, the OVA was abruptly cancelled in 2006. Without being specific, Gonzo simply stated the project was killed off for, quote, various reasons. Though many of those reasons have been speculated, original author To Ubukata said in a 2010 Anime News Network interview that the cancellation was, quote, the bursting of the anime bubble in 2006. That was the main reason it wasn't fully produced by Gonzo. And finally, did you know that there is a Studio Ghibli film that was never made? Currently, no known production art, storyboards, or any conceptual media has ever been found for this anime. Its existence is only known because of an offhand comment made by one of its creators, Mamoru Oshii. What makes the film so intriguing is not only the collaborative effort of three of anime's most prolific directors, but it would have also have been the only time a non-Ghibli regular would have been in the director's chair for a Ghibli feature film. Though a studio backing from Ghibli seems like a winning endorsement, Oshii didn't exactly share the same sentiment. In an interview with Kinema Junpo in July of 1995, Oshii briefly explained what happened. Quote, There was even a project which we three were going to do. I think it was after Angel's Egg. It was a Ghibli project called Anchor. I think Mia-san was going to be the producer, I was going to be the director, and Takahata-san was going to produce too. He went on to say, We three got together and made a plot. But one night, we had a big fight and disagreement, and I quit. Oshii continued with, I think Studio Ghibli is like the Kremlin. The real one is long gone, 
but it's still sitting in the middle of the field in Higashi Kogane. It's like the military or a political party. And for some, it's a good order, but for some, it's an intolerable fascism. However, it is certain that only by such mountains of tight control, such movies can be made. Thank you very much for watching Where Did You Know Anime, the anime trivia resource. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all of the latest facts and trivia. This has been Ken Bolito from Follow Anime on Twitter as well as here on YouTube. I produce cinematic anime figurine showcase videos in 4K resolution. Whether you're into figures or not, I highly encourage you to check out my channel, and if you like what I have on there, subscribe to see when more comes out. Thanks again for watching, and have a good one.